so this is where you enter and uh, this is the lobby area where you can keep your stroller but this is where the main house the airbnb that we have booked starts and when you enter you will see this cabinet where you can hang your clothes keep your stuff and this is the bed that's the baby cot that's me hi okay this side if you'll go this is the bathroom washroom very nice and this is a very cool thing this is a kitchen completely covered this is induction super cool this is sink super cool this is the storage space with the microwave down there it is all the cutlery and everything this side is a refrigerator and that is a mini dishwasher it is very cute <laughs> and here in front of the kitchen there is a storage space for all the kitchen stuff how cute is that okay let's go to the living room area now from that side there is a living room area they've given us a speakers tv dining table couch high chair very important and all the kettles and coffee machine and toaster all the fun stuff and now let's go to the balcony the final place it's not really a balcony but it's a cute window and we are right in the city center great location and right there is a metro station what a beautiful location this is just perfect Do you want to talk about the time out market? How was your experience? It's good. We struggled a lot uh, trying to feed the baby in the market. Actually, there was a high chair, and we saw it after finishing our food. Yeah, we, um, yeah, we didn't knew that. Yeah, it was a unique concept. There were a lot of tiny uh, uh, restaurants that were selling. Uh, we had a wide variety of options. We had uh, tables and chairs. We pick food from different stalls. We come and eat at one place. And uh, what also was unique is that you would share your table with other people. That would make you socialize, which I thought was great. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We didn't because we have a baby <laughs> and we were all focused to him. But it was really nice concept. We had codfish, we had um, bread with uh, potatoes and carrots, and I took four oysters and sparkling wine. Such a good experience, loved it. And the vibe was so good of the entire place because. Obviously, it's Saturday night, summer, and feels like whole Lisbon is out on the street. So it was really nice. It is so crowded right now. The, there is traffic jam. People are blocking each other's way. But this is the emptiest street so far we have seen. This is 10 at night. Or 10.30. After finishing dinner, now we've come to the main harvest square, also known as Praka de Mercio. Um, and behind me, you can see there's a there's a gate which is sort of looks like front yard. Uh, there's a statue of Vasco de Gama there. Uh, 
there. We have Riverview, and this is a massive, massive square. It's day two in Lisbon, and we came here to go to the top of the elevator that is right behind me. But you can see the queue, it's huge. We didn't expect that, it was totally unexpected. So now we are planning to go and explore other places and we we'll come here some day early morning um, because it opens up at 7.30. So we'll come early morning to go here. But this is a long queue and it will take an hour almost. So we just decided to explore some other places. Let's go. Ooh. We are here again in the square in daytime. And this is how it looks like. It's a bright sunny day. And it's a huge square. Right in front of the square, this is the harbour where the ships are docking. Saw someone making the sand art and it's so cool. So we are having a pina colada by the river but right behind me is a bridge which was built by the company which built the Golden Bridge in San Francisco. And right there you can see the statue of Jesus as well. So let's enjoy Pina Colada with this view and such a perfect day. We are at Java. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, we are at the restaurant Java for our lunch. Um, this has a really nice city view. But we're waiting to be seated. Let's see if we can get a seat. Sidi. Hi. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah. Your eating seat went. <laughs> so we ordered lamb Turkish vibes and this is chicky peas chicken which pancake which is like fried chicken with pancake and creamy sauce and daddy is here with the baby I'll put him in the stroller yeah so we can eat so do you have fun no <laughs> let's have food chew 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 how do you chew 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 this food is good Baby is roaming around with daddy and I'm finishing the last bite. These lamb sticks are so good. Look at my plate. So good. Before coming to Lisbon, I always thought those funiculars that we see on internet, they will be everywhere. But actually, that's not the case. Um, those are actually at a specific area. And now we are actually planning to go to those trams slash funiculars. So, yeah. Okay. walking down on the street Augusta this is such a happening street full of cafes shopping outlets restaurants live music happening so fun and it starts from the, uh, the, the harbor gate that we showed you earlier and this is a no car zone and this is a no car zone so you can walk very freely it's a yeah yeah super nice
that's the top of the elevator from where you'll get the city view. But we have done this view already from our restaurant Java, where we had the dinner. So maybe we'll skip. We'll see. We waited for 40 minutes to get inside this trap. To, to find a trap which had this people inside so that we were comfortable with a stroller inside. Uh, and it it is, took us a lot of time. Yeah, it took us 40 minutes because traps are very crowded, super bad. But it was actually worth it. What do you say? No? Yeah, it's good. The view is good. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I am absolutely loving it. City, hi. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? We are now sitting at Portaria, Portuguese bakery. We had breakfast in the morning from this place. We got it in the Airbnb. It was so good. We had to come here again. And we are having the natas, two iced coffee, and codfish sandwich. What do you what do you say? Cutlet, cutlet type of thing. Wait, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you. And it's uh, fried codfish. Fried codfish. Okay. Not a cutlet. <laughs> Sid loves Nata. He had one in morning also. You know? Do you like Nata? No. No. Yeah, there are birds. <laughs> It's our day three in Lisbon and we are at the Tower of Belém. This is one of the buildings that survived the earthquake in 1755. And before the construction of the new harbour, this was actually the old harbour where we are standing right now. went around the earth. He took a circle around the earth. The earth is uh, this now. So we are sitting at this restaurant where we saw they are serving tapas. Tapas. Tapas or tapas? Tapas. And we decided to sit here. We have ordered tapas, tacos and wine tasting menu that they have which is super interesting. Now it's here and let me flip the camera and show you uh, all the wines that we have received for wine tasting. This is an Antonio baby sleeping and these are the wine for wine tasting. So they have recommended us to start from there and go here because the lighter it is, the sweeter it is and as it gets darker it becomes more sour. Very sweet. Very nice. Daddy. You try next one. 
Tapas is here, looks kind of funny with just bread and meat and olive on it. <laughs> and baby is also awake. Yeah, are you dancing? Whoa, show me some moves. Yeah, oh, stretching. How were the tapas? Okay. No, tapas, no, tapas was bad. Uh, tacos were good. Yeah, tacos were really good. But tapas was Black. cheese on bread. Quite literally. And a cup of olives. No, we tried tapas in Spain. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Good. Yeah, That was good. Oh, that was so good. But this was not even close. But the wine tasting experience was also very nice. Yeah. yeah. We paid how much? 36 euros? Yeah, we paid 36 euros for that. Meal. We are sitting at this waffle place, actually ice cream place, um, Chow Chow Italia. We are having waffles and ice cream and Siri is having a cookie. Now I know a lot of people don't give their kids sugar at the age of 16 months but I feel like I'm okay with that um, given that he only eats sugar when we are on holidays and once we are back at home he will not have any sugar so it's totally cool if you are having sugar he can have sugar it's absolutely cool. This is what I have ordered this is waffle with chocolate ice cream and vanilla topping a cookie for him. Is getting his ice cream and baby is happy. Siddhi? Cookie? No? Are you done? Oh, kya? Cookie? Yes! <laughs> and daddy is here with his ice cream. Which one did you get? Which one did you get? Mango? Mango and dulce and... Okay, nice. at Geronimo's Monastery. Uh, this was built by the King of Portugal in the 16th century. This was built by the spice money which uh, Portuguese people had by building new trade routes uh, in the age of discovery. We really wanted to go inside this but what we didn't know is that it's closed on Monday and we're here and of course we'll be on the Monday. So we'll not be able to go inside but we think I think having a waffle was not the best idea <laughs> because now we are going to a very famous bakery who claims to have invented natas, the custard tarts as we all know and that bakery's name is Pastis de Bellum. Pastis de Bellum and we are going there very near to this church. We have reached here to the most famous place for having natas because they claim that they invented the natas and the queue here is crazy. For takeaway we have at least 20 people standing in the queue and for uh, the seat we have at least 30 to 40 people standing in the queue. I'm not sure what we're gonna do we are figuring it out but it's just 
so crazy. We got it packed and they gave uh, packs of nadas. We got two packs of six nadas each. And we also got one of their famous drinks that we will try fresh one tomorrow. But today we have got the packed one so that we can enjoy our nadas with. And I paid, I think, 31 euros for all this. We are at home. I've had my share. He is eating custard tarts back to back, non stop. Fourth one. Fourth one. Yeah. They are so good. Worth the hype. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Many words for these. That divine. That divine. <laughs> oh. Do you like it? No. 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 Oh, you're dancing. So do you like it now? That's why you're eating. How do you say yes? <laughs> it's our last morning in Lisbon, so we decided to have breakfast oui. outside. He took a what? Nothing. No, oh my god, so many pigeons are there. It's so scary sometimes. There are pigeons everywhere. Stay in the shade, else they'll steal your food like the seagulls. And we are back at this bakery. Its name is Padaria Portuguese. We came here yesterday also. I think the day before yesterday. Yeah. It's a really nice place. So that's the breakfast we're having. Ordered nata, a butter croissant. This is salmon, cream chandras. This is codfish, cutlet type of thing. And two cappuccinos. Sidi, yellow. So good. So Lisbon has a unique architecture, uh, which you can see behind me. Um, so majority of the city was destroyed in an earthquake in 1755. And afterwards, the construction was led by a man called Pombal. He was from military. So he designed buildings in an architecture which is now known as Pombaline. So you can see these buildings are, they have minimum facade. You can see tiles there. There's iron railing. Um, and it's, it's, it's built in a military way. And it's built to withstand the upcoming earthquakes. Or if an earthquake comes in, so for the last lunch in Lisbon, we have decided to come to the Augustina Lane and this restaurant name is Cozina Davo Celeste. <laughs> Turn around my camera and show you. Bacalao in Portuguese means codfish. This is codfish and rice. Yep. And this is fish and chips with white wine and baby is having all of it which is super interesting. It's such a relief when your child is eating what you are eating. We are sitting at a local cafe and now we are trying ginger which is a very famous drink in Portugal. It's like a shot you can see in his hand and it's a cherry liquor. So let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. It's sweet. Cheers. He's also doing chess. Cheers. 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 
We are now exploring the streets of Al Fawa and as you can see behind me, streets here are very narrow. It's more like the waves and we'll see how kid friendly it is and how far we can go and how much we can explore this place. So let's go. our four day trip in Lisbon. I hope you enjoyed traveling Lisbon with me, my husband and my baby. If you like this video, please make sure you like it because it helps me reach to the wider audience. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye!